so today we're going to be talking about the Articles of Confederation. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to read this sheet. Okay, there was also an Articles of Confederation flat book that goes with it, but you do not have to do that. All right, the only flat book, so the flat book looked like this. This was the Articles of Confederation. You do not have to do that one. You do not have to do that one, okay? Um, but you do need to read this sheet, and then you're gonna think of three laws or three articles for your own house, okay? So you guys are gonna be like your own Congress. But before you write your laws, you have to understand what the Articles of Confederation was even about in the first place. So this was really, um, the the United States or America's first national government plan it comes um, it becomes ratified or comes into effect in 1781 that is eight years before the Constitution the Constitution the US Constitution which we base all our laws off of um, it's kind of like the law of the land for the people by the people all that good stuff that was 1789 when we have our constitution ratified okay march 4th i think so this is in march of 1781 so almost of course i don't do math i'm gonna say eight years um so the articles of confederation kind of served as a prelude or the foundation of what we would base our constitution off of um the articles of confederation were put into place because we wanted to be an independent nation, right? So we wanted to be independent from Great Britain. Uh, but what happens after we're independent, right? Who makes the laws? What are we gonna do? What are the people supposed to do? How are we gonna afford our army? So what the Congress did, that Second Continental Congress, so that Congress is gonna stay intact. And what the Congress is gonna do is they're gonna come up with a few main points. Now, they did not want to have a strong government like we saw in England, right, with Parliament and all that. They wanted to stay far away from that because they had seen what living under a king would look like, right, with King George III. So the colonists said, no, we don't want a strong government. We just want to have ourselves organized. And that's pretty much it. So uh, what the Articles of Confederation gave Congress the ability to do was they had the ability to make treaties, declare war, maintain the army and navy and conduct um, business with foreign countries because we still had a lot of trade going on the articles of confederation were um they were allowed con congress to conduct the revolutionary war and they also allowed power to control give congress power to control interactions with native american groups in the west and to govern those territories in the West. So remember, we are very much so set up along that East Coast. So New England, our middle colonies, our Southern colonies where we live, we have not quite expanded out West yet. And we're starting to, and we'll see that in the, in the next hundred years. So that expansion out West, the Articles of Confederation for that eight year period before the Constitution gave Congress the ability to kind of control that, okay? So make sure that you read this sheet. It's going to go over what we just reviewed and then get your laws done. I can't wait to hear all about them. Okay, guys, so hope you're having a great week. Thank you for all your birthday notes, cards, all that. It really, really made my birthday so special. Um, So I thank you guys. I miss you like crazy and I just can't wait to see you, okay? All right, peace.